The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. Presented by the Colgate Palm Olive Pete Company. Makers of Halo Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream. Ajax Cleanser. Palm Olive Soap. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. I think you will all agree that this has been a most joyous convention. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> and now to climax our convention festivities, we have imported those very funny madcap comedians, the hilarious Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Why, is there one missing? Oh. Why is there one oh, missing? Yes. A funny thing happened on the way to studio tell today. Him, tell We're him. driving to Mike Zetson's car. We got it between two trolleys. Anybody want to buy a tall, thin Buick? Thin Buick. <laughs> How was that one? Yeah, then hey, you know, yes, I got sir. a dog at home and he doesn't eat meat. He doesn't eat meat? How come? We don't give him any. We uh, don't give him any. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you did it. Not you did it again. Again, you did it. I'm not gonna make a sad face. You can't bother me. You can't. You can't do nothing to hide me. Every time we're on TV, you gotta louse me up with the opening. You gotta take me someplace and embarrass me. I don't you like can't that. hide my feelings. Nothing you can fake could make me feel abused. Introduce my song. Go ahead, get off the stage. Introduce. Get my off song. the stage. I don't want to argue with you. <laughs> don't introduce. I'll be right back. Remember don't, that. Don't. You can go off the stage. Big man. This is a big man, you know. No, this is a, you know, he has a big, long nose. <laughs> cut it off. You know, cut it off. Chopped it off. Now he's walking around with a big. <laughs> Shoes by I. Miller. Gown by Sophie of Saks Fifth Avenue. Jewels by Cartier. Complexion by Palm Olive. Yes, a lovelier complexion can be yours in just 14 days if you use Palm Olive Soap Facials. In a recent test on 1,285 women, 36 leading skin specialists proved that your skin can be brighter your skin can be softer, your face fresher looking by far when you use palm olive soap. Now these weren't ordinary tests either. So suppose we introduce you to a man who knows an awful lot about the work done on them. 
The reports on those tests fill a set of files far larger than these, and they prove conclusively that proper cleansing with palm olive soap brings most women, most of you, lovelier complexions in just 14 days. And your nurse doctor, does she use palm olive? I certainly do. I wash my face three times a day, massage my skin for just a moment, then rinse and dry pat. That 14-day palm olive magic has worked wonders for me. You can see what I meant when I said these palm olive tests were no ordinary tests. For in them, doctors have proved that you too can have a lovelier complexion in just 14 days with palm olive soap. Put the arm down here. Never hide your face and be happy when you're dancing. No, you're overdoing it here, buddy. Keep the arm up. Up, up with the arm. Always be happy. Happy, because you may never get another dance, you know. Be happy. What is it? Yes, there, that's what I... Happy people when you dance, you know? You gotta loosen up here. Loosen up. You're too stiff, lady. Loosen up, please. Sweet. Yeah, well, that's nice. What are you doing here? Come back here. What's the matter? What are you doing in my studio? Oh, I saw a sign outside, and it said that you learn people how to dance, so I'm here. Oh, you want to learn how to dance, huh? Yeah, yeah, I, I'd like Why? To... Why? Well, because everybody dances, and I always go to parties, you see, Mr. Martin? I sit in the corner, and I don't dance with girls. They call me a wallflower. But if you teach me how to dance, then I'll go to a new party sometime next week, and I'll have all the girls. Boy, wow. <laughs> You three other couples mind going to the other ballroom? I want to speak with this young boy. So uh, you want to learn how to dance, huh? Yeah, well, would, you would you teach me? Don't be interrupting me. I've taught a lot of people to dance. Now, first thing you need is a little poise, but before that, you need a partner. Oh. So, uh, Elizabeth, please, this is your, over here, this is your dancing partner. My partner? Yep. <laughs> over like that crazy fool i want to see how you would walk very nicely you walk over and ask for let me see how you would do it <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> some of you didn't get there i want you to walk over relax when you relax go ahead <laughs> now you walk over walk over like a man like as if you mean <laughs> no! Let me see that. Would you dance? Herbie! <laughs> now listen to me. Look. Now look, I don't think you should dance with Elizabeth. I think you should dance with Gwendolyn. Elizabeth, just excuse us for a minute. Who you... should I dance with? With Gwendolyn. She's on the couch. Gwendolyn? Another Gwendolyn. guy? Yeah. She's on the couch. On the couch? Oh, I'm sorry. She got skinny, I was gonna say. Here's, here's Gwendolyn. There she is. Nice girl. This, this, this is Gwendolyn. This is her. She don't feel good, Gwendolyn. <laughs> now, uh, let me teach you how, see? You've gotta be suave when you... I gotta be a slob? Suave! <laughs> You take your time, you know what I mean? See, you light a cigarette. That's important, it makes you important. When you this is the whole thing. <laughs> now you sit down very nonchalantly, you say, Gwendolyn, I've been looking for you for a long time. Where have you been? 
Just like, do you think you could possibly do this? I think with a little movement on my part, I may accomplish this. Oh. <laughs> may I borrow your cigarettes? I gotta be very slobby. Slobby. <laughs> I'll be very nice. Oh, why don't you stop with this crazy nonsense? <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> Let me teach you something about asking a girl. You, you would say, Gwendolyn, I've been looking for you for a long time. Then you take a deep breath and say, where have you been? Take a deep breath, wait a minute. Right. Gwendolyn, I've been looking for you for a long time. <laughs> where you been? Shit. <laughs> Now, look, you do everything I do, you understand? Oh, I'm, I got no partner. I'm going to give you a partner. I'm going to call Elizabeth, and I'll dance with her. You dance with Gwendolyn. I got Elizabeth, it. here. Now, we're going to have uh, just some real nice, you know, rock, Plymouth Rock beat dance. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but do I have to ask her to dance with me? Well, you don't have to ask her nothing. Just pick her up and dance with her. Now, have a little music, Mr. Stable. <laughs> Everything is nice and easy, see? Dance cheek to cheek. How? Cheek to cheek. Oh, gee. <laughs> now watch, there's a little, a little trick. The first trick you learn in dancing. What? Yeah. You twirl the girl out. Real nice, you twirl her out, then you bring her back. Now, is that hard? <laughs> twirl her out. Yeah, let her go. Let her go. Tweet Gwendolyn. Tweet, treat Gwendolyn. <laughs> pick her up. All right. So you don't pick up a girl like that? Don't you know how to pick up a girl? Sure. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm going to pick her up. Go ahead, pick her up. No, no. Haven't you ever picked up a girl before? Show me how. Come here. <laughs> I got the man who'll give you some limbering up exercise. Yeah? Sure. Leonard Barr, Uncle Leonard, come out here. Oh, good. This man needs some limbering up exercise because he wants to learn to do the rumber. That's very simple. All you have to do is here. Go ahead. I could never do this in a million years. How can I learn to do this? You can do it. Yeah? My way, the Martin way, you can do it. Excuse me? Come here. We're going to use this itching powder on him this time. The itching powder. That's what I wonder what they're planning. <laughs> <laughs> now, here, here's some uh, Martin well, powder. Well, I don't understand. This will help you a whole lot. Yeah, but I'm... You'll do one of the greatest rumbers. Yeah, but how could this possibly this ever help me? Because this will help I never you. did this dance, see? And, and uh, well, uh, when I... When I <laughs> Didn't do too much. Excuse me, Mr. Martin. DeMay and Moore have just arrived. They're ready to give their Adagio demonstration. Who's that? Who's that? DeMay and Moore, this is a dance I want you to listen to and watch, rather. Oh. So let's bring them in, won't you? Here they are. Watch them.
all that. Well, would you mind doing it with Hubert and me? Hubert? Yes. I'd like to do that. Let's do that. All right, let's. Now you throw it over to me first. Like like the shows they yeah. do that. Two, two, say, oh, how is that? I went to a tour she A tour she said. A tour she said and says you're doing Here we go. Holly Hope Steve up. Next. Hope. And cauliflower. He next. Not me. All right, all right. Go ahead. I better say it to be little loose. Zoop. demonstration of one of the most helpful products a woman can keep in her kitchen and bathroom. Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Use Ajax. Boom, boom. Colgate's new Ajax cleans pots and pans far brighter with half the effort. Use Ajax. Boom, boom. The foaming cleanser. Boom, boom, boom. Cleans pots and pans just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax. Boom, boom. The foaming cleanser. Boom, 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 boom. Floats the dirt right down the drain. Boom, 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 boom. Ajax leaves no gritty cleansers come. So use Ajax, the foaming cleanser. Bum, 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 bum. the dirt right down the drain. Ajax, the new scouring cleanser, foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes with half the effort. Mm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. Fat so slim and tiny mentioned four points that are well worth remembering. One, Ajax foams as it cleans. Two, cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Three, it polishes as it cleans. And four, smells good too. Get one can of Ajax for your kitchen and one for your bathroom. And see how this cleanser helps you clean bathtub, kitchen sink, and pots and pans with half the effort and twice the speed. Ajax. The Foaming Cleanser. Remember now, you mustn't make noise because Baby's a very light sleeper. Yes, ma'am. We have to keep the crib here in the living room because Baby's room is being painted. Oh, don't worry. I'll be real quiet. That's a good Well, thing. well, darling. Are we ready? Darling, this is our new babysitter. Well, well, she doesn't look more than a baby herself. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's such a kidder. <laughs> You'll take care of Daddy's little boy now, won't you? Ah, uh, that's fine. Let's go, darling. Uh, it's a shame you're not taking care of Daddy. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha. Wow! <laughs> Sweetheart! Why are the kids asleep? Oh, well, I'll be quiet, okay. 
Darling, I thought they'd never go. I missed so you long. so much. So long. I've been much. waiting out there for a half hour. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Baby song. Forget it. Maybe you'll go back to sleep. Let's talk All to right. me for just a sec. You know, I went over. I to... I guess. Listen to me, you get back to bed before I give you a shot right now. I will back. not. Get in bed. You better get him some milk. All right, try and keep him amused, will you? Me amuse him? You don't have to amuse me. I just... I will not amuse you. You play by... Go ahead, play by yourself now. Go on. No, I don't want to. I'm very uncomfortable. I just I just want to play one game. I don't want to play with you. I want to show you a card trick. I don't want to... Ah! This is 51 pickup. You take a card. What is it? 51 pickup. Take a card. Now pick up 51. <laughs> That's a very ah! Pick up the card yourself. Pick them up yourself and amuse yourself here. I'm coming back. I don't care. I don't care. It's my house. <laughs> now what shall I do? Television. I'll watch television. Wow! Wow! Why? You you watching Hopalong Cassidy? No, Faye Emerson. <laughs> Look, just listen to me one second. No, you let me alone. Shut up. If I give you a dollar, will you go to sleep? A whole dollar? A whole dollar. Go yes, ahead. I will. Go on. Go to sleep. All right. Go on. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Emerson, you're such a precocious child. I don't know. This child. kid is upset. Every time oh. I... My mommy always kisses me good night. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, figure. Here, dear. Is that the way my mommy kisses me? Your <laughs> mommy is in the air. You got to be the way my mommy kisses uh, how, me. How does your mommy kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> From now on, you're getting 75. <laughs> what did you want to do? Grow up in her arms? Sit down, ah! Sit down and drink your milk. Sit down and drink your milk. Shut up. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to it. Crazy, sure. Ah! All, right, all right, all right. Go ahead. One game of charade. You gotta amuse this I kid. Know. Picture, a picture. I know that. Ten word. First word. Twenty-six syllables. Strutting. Strutting. Strutting, strut, strike, stable, stroll, stay, speedy, two. Second one. <laughs> huh? 
118 syllables. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> real sad. Real, real, real. Hey, heel, heel, uh, uh. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Third word. Half a syllable. Get in there. <laughs> Crazy fool. And don't bother us. Well, I guess that's we've heard from him for the last oh, time, you know. Yeah, yeah that's what you think. You dirty, rotten, grown up. You no good, miserable adult. Yeah. You just are not a lousy child, they did. I think you're crazy. You, you have no love for no children. Boy, that's what you try to say, girls, because we don't do much. We don't bother nobody. We shouldn't have no fun. Just let me give you a dollar. We should live a little bit. What's going on here? What is this nonsense? Stop it. Well, love, boy, hate her. Stop it. You, boy, for just mean and nasty. Shut up, you crazy kid. You gotta know how to handle these children. You mustn't yell like that. Oh, he is no child. This is my child. I'll have none of that talk. What do you mean, you have none of that This is my child. I've been with him for seven years. Daddy. If I... Hey, there! What do you want now? Since when are you such a big man? You shouldn't talk to your daddy like that. Yeah, well, I can talk any way I want. See there, too, boy. All He's right. a free country. Right. And that means well, me too. And if you don't like well, the if boy, I was you go back to the Shut up. up. I like you wouldn't drink any. No, I tried. Look, you're not, you don't belong here. I don't Shut up. up. This is my child, and you can't talk to him the way you do. Oh! You're telling me about that article on tooth decay. Oh, yes, Mrs. Williams. Reader's Digest recently reported the same research, which proves that brushing teeth right after eating with Colgate Dental Cream stops tooth decay best. And Colgate Dental Cream, while not mentioned by name, was the one and only toothpaste used in this research. Mommy, what does research mean? Well, Mary Lou, let's pretend that Mr. Tooth, an old friend of yours, is taking a walk when he meets Decay. Now, no sensible tooth wants any part of Decay, so Mr. Tooth runs for the Colgate Way. Two years' research showed the Colgate Way of brushing teeth right after eating helped stop more Decay for more people than ever before reported in dentifrice history. Yes, the Colgate Way stops tooth decay best, better than any other home method of oral hygiene. No other dentifrice, ammoniated or not, has proof of such results. Brush your teeth with Colgate, Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Water cleans your teeth. Colgate toothpaste. Cleans your breath. What a toothpaste. Water cleans your teeth. Gee, the Colgate way was real good for Mr. Tooth, wasn't it? That's right, Mary Lou. So always remember this. And you too, Mrs. Williams. Colgate Dental Cream cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. And the Colgate Way stops tooth decay best. I'm back already. Oh, that's all right. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say that we've been very, very thrilled on TV. We met some wonderful people. We'd like to just make a little mention that we're opening in Columbus at the Palace Theater on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We'll be appearing there for three days, I should say. And we open in Chicago on Friday for a week. We'd like you nice people in Columbus and Chicago to come over and say hello. What's going on here? What is this? What is going on with the band here with the running? You know what they're trying to do to you, this network? I'll tell you, they don't want you. Look at the band. There's nobody over here. It's all empty. So when they open the curtain, you should think it's another orchestra. Get out of there. <laughs> Same band. They're all going back there so we can do the end of the show behind the curtain. There's nobody over there. Don't think this network gives away nothing for nothing. <laughs> it's curtain time on Broadway, and we find the lovely lady with beautiful hair waiting for someone. Are you busy? No? Well, then why not come with me to see my favorite movie? Oh, come on. Hello, everybody. Halo Shampoo presents the real inside story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Young lady, you've eaten all of Junior's porridge. And busted his chair. And slept in my bed. Of course. I'm supposed to. I'm Goldilocks. 
She's not Goldilocks. Her hair isn't pretty. <laughs> Let's wash it and find out. Not with that. Soaping doll's hair. Halo glorifies it. Because Halo shampoo's not a soap or a cream. So it can't leave dulling soap film. Gee, look at the suds. If she's really Goldilocks, Halo shampoo will soon prove it. Now, let's take a look. It, it is, is Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So Halo shampoo, Halo. Remember, soaping dolls' hair. Halo glorifies it. Leaves it fragrant, dandruff-free, and wonderfully easy to manage. So halo, everybody, halo. Halo, shampoo, halo. And halo to you. Halo to you, too. Halo there. Say, I just happen to have a bottle of halo shampoo with me. Whether your locks are golden, red, or brunette, Halo Shampoo will glorify them the very first time you use it. May we have a closer look at your haloed hair? Why, of course. Why don't you try America's favorite shampoo, Halo Shampoo? Mistake, Johnny. I know I made a mistake, Fred, but what do you what do you want? <laughs> don't put all the blame on me, Mame. An audience is sitting out there. You don't tell them about a mistake. What is it with you? <laughs> Who is that? Your brother? My brother's living. Wow! <laughs> now come on, come on, come on. Come on, nothing. You're supposed to overlook a mistake when it happens. Me, what? Overlook it. Don't let an audience know about it. But I think. <laughs> Well, doggone. <laughs> now, come on, get my note. You came, you came. When a mistake is made, you came to overlook it. <laughs> no, I cannot. Man, now, don't be nasty now. I say you came when I say you can. Man, you can. <laughs> you overlook it and forget it, that's all. I said I can't overlook it, you understand? Take your filthy hands off me, I'll spit right in your eyes. <laughs> get me mad, boy. I You don't want it? It's all right with me. But what am I supposed to do about it? Clarify. <laughs> What'd I say? You said it's dirty white. That is the union band. I don't care about you or your union band. Oh. You see how mad they get? You better say you're sorry. No. I'm warning you. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, sorry. Right. Say sorry. That's good enough. Let's take it from Asia Minor. Here we go. <laughs> Clarify isn't dirty. Bad enough, and I'd like hearing no more about it. <laughs> Only means inscrutable. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, all right. My gosh, what a bad... I'm joining. You're not joining. Why? They're nice enough to let me leave the band. If you can't conceive the idea that labor and physical being certainly doesn't predominate on anyone's... Oh, I know so many people have come to you where they've said that in this particular being, no one has ever concentrated on the fact that welfare and health may concern. I'll grant you that. Sure. The other people have never been based on any factor that have not said that I've never been wrong when you were right. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Could you show me the mistake? Can you tell yeah, me... Yeah, the mistake that... is I was supposed to play one, two, symbols. What'd you do? So I played one, two, the other symbol. Big deal. What are you listening to? <laughs> union. Uh -huh. All right, come on. Let's get going. Uh, I'll you. ask him. I'll ask him. We'll ask him. We'll ask him. <laughs> and I just want to see if you're paying attention. That's up. And kindly. <laughs> Playing the cracks, turn it up. Would make the two of us one. Make us one. So I'm a hitting the trail. You can pull the mail.
are never going to louse me up. Do you understand, Julio? You're never going to louse me up again. That's the last time you ever do it. I let, don't care, Norman. Let me sing a song. Get off of the stage. Let me sing a I song. I should get off the stage. Yeah. I've been abused all my life. That's all I ever take me was abuse. I'm going out of here. Don't you yell at me. I'm going to get even with you. I don't know how. I don't know when. But someday Dick. I'll get even with you. Boy, Dick. you'll be sorry for treat me. I try to help you. I'll leave you now, boy, you singer. But I'll get even with you. <laughs> Well, I'm singing in the rain, ah, oh, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again, I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> in the rain. you to swim. You've been wonderful. Brush your teeth with hey Lou. Hey, Lou. <laughs> You've been swell. <laughs> and we love you all. And we hope you look for our new picture at war with the army. Yeah, just We'd like you to buy. It won't be around, but We'd like you to buy Colgate. And remember the show was written by Norman Man, Lear and, and Ed Simmons. Hanks. And produced and, uh, by Mr. Uh, Ernest Ruxman, directed by year. Kingman Moore, Dick Seville of the Orchestra. And Toby Wynn. It's been so be wonderful. Right. Sylvia Sidney was the wardrobe dresser. Mildred Pierce was my mother. And John a, Charles Thomas. One minute. <laughs> but we're going off the air. We want you to watch us next time we come on. Just watch both of us the next time we come on. We wow. love you all, and we're very grateful for your very Good wonderful night response. And God Good night. Bless you. Watch Fred out. Good next week. Good night, everybody. Good. Thank you. But Thank you.